Hello YouTube. Well this morning I'm getting my grain head ready to use. I'd kind of like to combine a little oats later on this summer and of course I'll need it this fall for my soybeans. I haven't had this on the combine for a couple of years. Uh, two years ago when I used it the uh, the slip clutch here was wearing out and uh, I've got I got enough stuff to fix that now. Again, thanks to uh, Life Behind a Cow out in Washington State for sending me this piece, which I needed. I don't know if it's going to show up on the video, but this is the old one, and it's worn pretty bad. There's a lot of wear here, and it's worn in these pockets. So uh, with, the, with all the wear, there just wasn't enough clearance for the spring to put enough uh, pressure on the slip clutch. So this baby is going on today and uh, this is, I found uh, this other outside part of the, uh, this other part of the slip clutch is actually a new old stock. I found this on eBay last year or two years ago. I don't remember which, but uh, apparently looked like someone on eBay had bought out the uh, remaining stock from a John Deere dealer that had gone out of business and had he had this advertised just as a sprocket and uh, with the part number that's how I found it and uh, <laughs> I paid about 20 bucks for this I don't know what they get for John Deere gets for a new one but it's I don't even know if they're available anymore but uh, I thought it did pretty good on that uh, these are the old uh, the old dogs that go in there I got a couple of new ones here uh, these I don't remember if I got from I got them from either Sloan or from Shoop. I don't remember which. That's been a year ago. I uh, gathered all this stuff together <laughs> a year or two years ago because you know you don't want to rush into these things. And uh, this is the head that I got with my John Deere 3300 combine. I I don't know. I'm I have a John Deere combine, but I'm certainly not an authority on John Deere combines. So my impression is that this head is older than the combine. I kind of think this is the head that you would find on a like a 45 or a 55 or 95 John Deere combine. Uh, the reason I think that is because I've on uh, I've seen pictures and videos of older combines that have heads like this on them with the uh, real drive on the, the left side and uh, I've seen 3300 combines like soybean farmers combine has the real drive on the uh, right side so I don't know I can't find a model number on this uh, I've got it's got the tag here with a serial number I don't know if you can see that very good or not but there's no type on there just the serial number so I don't know uh, anybody who anybody who knows whether this is a head is contemporary to my 3300 combine or is earlier can uh, I'd appreciate it if you'd uh, let me know in the comments. Not that it makes any difference. This is the head that I have. It's the head that I'm using. I think it'll work, but uh, just just out of curiosity, I guess. All right, I've got my good used hub on. Now I'm going to apply a little dab of grease to the outside of these to hold them in place while I put the whole thing together. Hopefully that'll work. That on there. Now you stay put, you little bugger. And it is. That's good. Now I'll do the same thing here. Okay, now you stay put. I'll slide this together. Here we are. Now to put the spring stuff back on there. Well, I'm kind of impressed with myself that I haven't lost any of this over the last two years.
All right, I think I've got a slip clutch that's going to actually function like it's supposed to again. So that's good. The chain was a little stiff, so I've got that soaking in a bucket of oil, used oil right now. So in the next couple of weeks, I'll get the combine out and pull the corn head off and put this head on. That's not as easy a job as it is on modern combines, but it's not that bad. Maybe I'll throw some video up of it. So anyway, that's probably going to be all for today. So until next time, everyone have a good day.